Right, who, who's doing any Pulse articles on their LinkedIn? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Great. So, for those of you who don't know what Pulse is, Pulse is like the internal blogging, articles, news, inside LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn publishes so much content by its members, it has become, and not many people know that, the biggest publishing site on the internet. Although not many people know that. So be part of that family. Every single person in this room, if you've got an English speaking profile, then you can publish your own blog inside LinkedIn. What, what might be the benefits of having a blog inside LinkedIn? Anybody? Exposure. Yeah. For your cause or your company. Yeah. Um, your discussion. And great stuff, Khaled. And the, the amazing thing is that lots of people who are publishing these are getting a higher level of engagement with their audience. Because, I don't know if anybody has, we'll just go back to notifications, there might be one. Um, there you go, Joan Smith published a new post. Right, so Joan Smith, who's a connection, published a new post four hours ago about a new membership scheme for startup businesses. So I can click on that, read her post, read her post inside LinkedIn, so it's a blog, it's a poster with some words. Now, that's actually an advert, right? That's actually a blog post disguised as an advert because she's promoting her membership. She's, she's divisional director of the Soilyhead Chamber, part of Greater Birmingham, whatever. Now, it's not very good disguise though, is it? No. Because it says 20 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. But it? The blatant ad, whereas if you could do a posting that tells about what you're doing and then that indicates to people, oh, this is a key influencer in this area, this is a person that I need to connect to and talk to. I wish I had sweets. I read. Have you got sweets? Is that a biscuit? <laughs> Give him a biscuit. <laughs> Spot on. What's your name, sir? Peter Langley. Peter, spot on. Oh, we were at the coffee machine together, weren't we? We were. Trying to figure out no, the coffee. No, 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 you're a key influencer. I'm coffee making. <laughs> That's right. We need to do a blog post on coffee making machines. Abdul. I've got a post, uh, article that I posted yesterday on mine. So it works because I've had engagement on it. Say it a bit louder so everybody can hear you. I, I have a Pulse article that I posted yesterday on my LinkedIn profile. And I know it works because I've had already had engagement on it. Right. So Abdul said he posted yesterday and he's got engagement on it already. Now, remember there are lots of people sharing posts nowadays, so the amount of engagement has gone down a bit. So, but if you have a blog post on there, it gives you a little bit of content that you can share with your new connections, right? So imagine this. I've done a blog post on coffee machines, right? This is the new blog post. We, we've just decided we're going to write one, and Abdul has just connected with me, so I can send Abdul a link to that blog post and say, Abdul, thanks for connecting, love to learn more about you, I would really would love to know your opinion about this blog post I've just written. Would you mind commenting on it, or sharing me your views, I'd like to know your thoughts on this. So now, I'm asking him to do something. Oh, also, if you use the word help three or four times in a message, guess what's going to happen? <laughs> Everybody wants to help you. We are hardwired to help human beings. So, use the word help. Abdul, I'd love to have your help on some comments on this blog post. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for your help. And if I can do anything to help you, just let me know. So I've just used it three times. What's Abdul going to do? He's going to help me. Because <laughs> I've just said I'm going to help him. Right? So be intelligent. But this is a blatant advert. And I would not advocate this at all.
because you want to be known and become known as a thought leader, an influencer, as just been said on LinkedIn. Somebody who talks about your own industry, your own sector, your own ecosystem of knowledge. Share that with people freely and you become known. You, what happens when you, sh when you share that knowledge? What happens? What happens in people's brains? You when start looking for them for information about the industry that they're, that they're talking about. And you think that they know what they're talking about. So you ask them questions. Brilliant. Brilliant. And that creates a level of trust. It's the only thing you can shoot for on platforms like LinkedIn, social media. I'm not saying Facebook because you're mostly connected with friends who already trust you there. But even now, Facebook, you're getting invites from people you don't even know, right? And by the way, I think Facebook have done a great job. I will not poo-poo them, but there's the one thing they, they have spoiled on LinkedIn is just adding click friend, add a friend, right? That one button, so everybody goes to LinkedIn and does the same thing. They just click the connect button. They're lazy. They don't, remember it's a business site, so you need to have an etiquette of dealing with business people.